This is downtown Hamilton, Ontario. I've seen. Then three shots rang out. It happened around 3 p.m. today at the corner of King Street and Caroline Street. Like, yo, it's a war zone. Yeah. It's 2024 right now. Yeah. And you know, when COVID happened, you know what I mean? That was just the start. That's why a lot of people yeah. are out here right now doing drugs and just going crazy. Yeah, but I think Toronto is way more because I'm. Oh, yeah, I heard Toronto. about that. Police shot me 30 times. 30 times. So you pulled a 50 tons move. Well, sometimes violence. Violence, huh? It's not to me personally, but, uh, you know, somebody got killed just over there, I guess. A lot of yeah. Them. Would you say that guns are really common in Hamilton? Very, very. Very common, though? I, 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 can get one if, I can get one if I want to. Wow, that easy. That easy. That easy. Hamilton homicide rates overall have dropped 95% from 2021 to 2022. Certain neighborhoods I'll be going to, people have been tragically killed. But why is everybody shooting each other? Is it really bad as the media makes it out to be? And is there any hope to stop this multi-generational gun violence? So I decided to go to downtown Hamilton and try to understand. You know, what's the biggest problem, Hamilton? Yeah. Are you guys from Hamilton? Yeah. How long have you guys lived down here for? My whole life. Yeah. Your whole life? Wow. So you guys have seen a lot of change down here, huh? Yeah. Do you guys think that the police officers are doing a good job enforcing the law down here? I, I don't want to answer that question. When you, <laughs> I don't want to answer that question. Not at all. Not at all? I think, Why do you say that? I think police are friendly, bro, but it's just like inherently they're getting too much money that could yeah. be going elsewhere. Just hold you know? it, just hold it. Yeah, I, don't... I just don't think like the laws that are in place are really helping mm -hmm. the majority of people. So like the laws that they are enforcing like aren't good, aren't for the greater good of the yeah, community. Yeah, Would you say that Hamilton is safe? I don't think it's dangerous. No. Do you guys not, feel safe? Not clear, not clear. Yeah. Yeah, well I'm not crazy about coming downtown. I, I'm yeah. spoiled. He doesn't live downtown. He, oh. he grew up on the mountain. Oh, you grew up on the mountain, huh? On the mountain. Yeah. I mean, when I was a kid, teenager, yeah. your age, yeah. I used to come down here. This was the place to go. Really? Downtown, yeah. Before before Lime Ridge, huh? And before they put Lime Ridge home. Yeah, that's what I heard. I still do think it is. Like, downtown's yeah. cooler than the mountain. There's more things going on. Wait, you, th you think downtown's cooler than uptown? Absolutely. Oh, wow. A lot of people disagree on that. Would you guys say that when you're going off a little walk or a jog, you have to be checking a shoulder to make sure that, you know, you're good at night? No? I never check my shoulder. You never check your shoulder? No. Not even once? No. No, I mean, you know, there's there's a, there's a lot of people around yeah. here, you know. Yeah, I thought I was gonna. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of people out okay. here. Um, but they're all people that need help. They're not people that we're supposed to be afraid of, right? And they're not trying to be antagonistic towards you. They just want help, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's more, it's less about like being scared of them. It's more about thinking about how can we community, like on a communal level, yeah. figure out that you know waste that they can get that help that they want right yeah. um i can't speak about being a girl right like that's a whole different circumstance mm -hmm. but in terms of like the folks that are in the city man um there are people that deserve our empathy uh, how do you feel about the new buildings are being built in the city do you think it's adding a good to it or no um it's good but i think they should be like cut in half and have two instead of one sure. i don't want it to look like toronto hypothetically speaking if you were elected mayor of hamilton what's the first thing that you would change for the city Help the homeless people, I suppose. People? Um, no, I'm from Calgary. Calgary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I've just visited Toronto sometimes because yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm more, more like there's more black people here. Yeah, here, and yeah. I feel way more comfortable and like I love seeing my, there's more black people in foreign cars. Yeah. In Toronto than yeah. anywhere else. Yeah, so yeah. That's yeah. why I like it out here. If you were elected mayor of Hamilton, what's the first thing that you would change? Well, first thing I would change, bro, it definitely would be um, I, you know, I. There's so many homelesses out here. Drugs, yeah. Drugs. Drugs, huh? Um, those are those are being done intentionally mm -hmm. to wipe people out. Yeah. By just giving them drugs to just you know, because back in the days when you wanted to kill somebody, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You they, they, they would they would do by through cops and this and this. Yeah. But then that shit got too old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but you know, to be honest, the first thing I would, I would look to even change, not 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 just in Hamilton or anywhere in the world. Yeah. It's like homelessism, bro. Homeless. Yeah. 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 Like you know, like it's just, it's just too much. These people, man, they're just like a vulnerable vulnerable kids who just made a wrong choice in their yeah, life. Yeah, exactly. And you know, like you, we cannot just look at them as like people who who, who, who have nothing. Cause yeah. they have family that care about yeah, them. Yeah, I hear you. And when I came back to Hamilton, like I've seen tents everywhere, people like- Yeah, I've been seeing so them, much them, now. Like, and then that's where most crime comes from. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why, you know, cause these guys are like, they have on drugs and they got knives, they got guns. Yeah. And then you can just come and like, you just mind your own day or whatever and just like say something wrong that might just trigger the feeling and who knows? Yeah, yeah, people yeah. die like that. And I, and I think like if you're smart, if you're very smart with how you move yeah. your life around here. I'm listening about this, sorry, I'm listening, yeah. You, yo, you can definitely avoid getting killed and stuff. Yeah. Are you in the streets, you know? I heard that like people be getting shot down here a lot. Really? Like yeah. in this spot, like- uh, not, not here exactly. Like I heard that like, I forget it's one street back there. I think it's called 
King Street, I don't know. King Street? Yeah. Yo, I think it was on King Street. Man, ev everywhere, everywhere, everybody gets shot, my nigga. Everywhere they everywhere? violence, my nigga. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, you. Like, you, it's like, it's like uh, people live, like, yo, it's a war zone. Yeah. It's 2024 right now. Yeah. And you know, when COVID happened, you know what I mean? That was just a start. That's why a lot of people yeah. are out here right now doing drugs and just going crazy. Yeah, here But now 2024 is coming again, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like they, they, they might put some shit on people's mind. That's true, yeah. People go crazy, my Yeah, brother. they're gonna try to poison the society, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know yeah, what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, but I think Toronto is way more because I'm Oh yeah, I heard Toronto. about that. I heard like, about man, that. Niggas again, yo, my rest in peace, Houdini. My nigga, yo. Houdini. Hey, man. rest in peace, Houdini. Rest, man. rest in peace. You know Houdini too? No, I, oh, wait, you know? Houdini, what's his last name? Like uh Houdini, the one that um all I need is all myself. Oh all yeah, yeah, I know him. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was my, my homie. I, I, I took him out, but yo, man, like he got shot broad daylight so at the end of the day oh bro, my god if you have beef like beefing with everybody this and this you, your life yeah. is short my brother that's a problem people nowadays they're too sensitive you know yeah 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 exactly like, emotional like they're, 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 they're too emotional yeah exactly and they act quick you know what i mean like yeah at what age would you say a kid touches his first gun in hamilton i know it's not like crazy on the states you know how there's guns and everything hamilton and toronto that's basically like america off canada yeah so uh most of the stuff you see in america happens it's all thing but i'm pretty sure we're like 10 years old at least 10 years old, 10 you years think? 10 years old, yeah. Yo, these young kids are getting pussy at 10 years old, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The fucking young girls, the fucking girls are 10 years old. What makes them think that they could not carry a gun at 10 years old? That's true, that's true. You know what I mean? If you're a kid out there, leave those guns alone and just really focus on love. Because then that will take you way more far than getting killed. We have a young generation of kids now getting shot at 15, 21. Yeah. Our next generation, one of our leaders. But yeah, don't be scared. I'm not trying to scare you guys. I said Hamilton is dangerous. It's a beautiful city. But you gotta know how to move. Yeah. Hey man, appreciate it though. Yeah. Well said. Hey. The police shot me 30 times. 30 times? So you pulled a 50 tense move? No, honestly, I have a hole in my heart, okay? Oh. And also, after that, they shot me five times in my right eye. That's why my, my right eye is much bigger yeah. than my left. Then also, this police officer David also came to Nova Scotia with my nephew, Sasha Krigmanovic. He's yeah. also a rapist to me. <laughs> Ten police officers raped me and beat me four times. They never reported themselves for this. Right. What? Ten police officers beat you and they raped you? Four times. They also killed my mother, they killed my pets. They have two of my pets, Neret and Daisy, in their police station. Oh, I'm sorry. Poisoning and torturing them. Mm -hmm. They're keeping them on purpose, they knew it's gonna do be... Do you think they're beating your cats? Yeah, they're telling me, I have telepathic ability. So police is speaking to me without me not wanting them to speak to me. Because mm -hmm. they, at first, they never even told me I have telepathic ability. For 27 you years. You have powers. You're saying you have powers. No, telepathic oh, ability. Oh, you know, okay. like you can speak to somebody through their mind. Yeah, through their mind. And I never knew that I had this. So what is there to do in Hamilton? That's what a question. To do? Mm -hmm. um, whatever you want. I like fishing and stuff like that. So I always hit like bay front, hiking, hiking. Yeah. Rip, whip those scooters around. You know, those things are pretty fun. Yeah. I don't know if you ever been on those. Really I don't mind Hamilton. It's just, I guess, some of like the homeless people and stuff mm -hmm. like that, really. But it's good, like, fire food here, man. Like, yeah. low-key spots, mm -hmm. like, so little gems. Yeah. yeah. As long as you say that again? Yes, yeah. As long as you know the spots and everything, then yeah. it's really yeah. fun yeah. to be here. What's the biggest problem out here in Hamilton? Everybody just mm -hmm. got one love, you know? For like everybody has to be more positive, for <laughs> yeah. real. There's yeah. too many negative people if they're mm -hmm. in here, you know? So if everybody was just like nice to one another, I feel like it'd just be able to freaking the world would be a better place for yeah. sure, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you think that Hamilton's a dangerous city? Our well, city's dangerous, right? But I mean, it's, I'm, maybe it's not bad, eh? But it's I mean, but yeah. it is bad at some parts, but I mean, like depends where you go, what time, I guess. Yeah, Every, everywhere, right? So I mean, Every 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 city has their own dangers, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess yeah. It is pretty dangerous, but you just gotta There's put don't put yourself in that middle. position, right, mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you were elected mayor of Hamilton, what's the first thing that you would change? You know. That's a question, man. Hey, uh, what, would, what would be the first thing you change? What would I change? I'm the interviewer, though. But, um. Okay. I'll, I'll, what would the first thing I'd change? I was gonna say more like community stuff, maybe like bring everybody together more and stuff mm -hmm. like that. For real, I think yeah. that would be sick, yo. Would you say like run events and stuff like that? More events? I think they do yeah. a, a quite a bit of events, but I'm just more like for the community, like the yeah. kids and stuff like that, like the future generations mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. yeah, I actually met so many like people that like, like, I'm not saying that like I would judge him, but like I know in other people's eyes they'd be like, oh look at that guy, I'm not gonna get near him because of the way he's dressed, um, so, you know? For real. Hey man, Hamilton doesn't look too bad, eh? Hey, you guys can't lie, the view's not bad here. Hamilton has his days, you know, I can't lie, it has his days.
you know, it's a beautiful city. It's actually a beautiful city, but hey man, I just want to say if you watched the video until the end, shout out to you, thank you, thank you, love, love, appreciate it. Do you guys think that the city can change? Me personally, I think that there's hope. Man, look at it, you know, it's a beautiful city. It's just, you know, just like this one person once said, Canada's a beautiful country. It's being run by dumb people. You guys get the message though. I don't wanna get into that too much. I'm not all about politics and all that. But hey man, my grade eight teacher once asked a class, can one person change the world? Back then, I was like, what, what, what kind of stupid question is this? Looking back at it now, one person can change the world. And it all starts with each one of you guys and including myself too. It all starts with all of us in the city because we all know that the people that have the most power that are supposed to you know, t be taking care of the city. An example like <clears throat> Justin Trudeau, <clears throat> the mayor, you know, the people that have the power. I'm not saying that they're not really taking actions. I feel like they are taking actions and they are trying to do some things, but obviously they can't really control everything, you know? So, but, as a society and a community, we gotta come together and fight this evilness with love. But one thing I noticed that a lot of people from this city, they judge a lot of people because I don't blame them. A lot of people have been through a lot and now it comes to a point where like they have a shield like in front of them in a way. So whenever they see someone, they always have like a fear in them and they're just like ready to judge. Like anyway, so that's not the whole point. The whole point is that, hey, let's beat this evilness with love, man. Let's not spread the hate, but the love, you know what I'm saying? But hey, that's all I gotta say, you know? I know you guys are probably like, why is this guy yapping so much? But um, once again, if you stayed until the end of the video, appreciate it, appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and you know, hit that thumbs up. But hey, y'all, it's your boy Dimani, and I'm out. And I'll see you on the next video.